talking about the portfolios, there is no proper clarification or we can say a justification given by the Mahayuti leaders because there is no official uh, uh, official announcement made by the Mahayuti over the portfolio allocation. So as of now, one CM and two DCM. This is the formula which is going to be there, which was there in the previous government. But uh, talking about the cabinet portfolio allocation, a meeting is set to take place today evening, where all these top three leaders will be discussing about the cabinet portfolio allocations. And by tomorrow morning, uh, a list will be declared, wherein all the cabinet portfolio boards who will get which portfolios will be declared by the Mahayuti Mega. Okay, all right. Uh, um uh, also, the discussions, there were a lot of rumor mongering that was happening that Eknath Shinde earlier was hesitant to let go of his position as the incumbent chief minister. Those uh, ruffled feathers uh, have at this point of time been straightened out by the BJP. So, what sort of negotiations happened uh, behind closed doors that forced Eknath Shinde to let go of his chairmanship, uh, chief ministership? Mega, if we see, uh, BJP has a clear majority in the state with 132 seats. Apart from that, they have support from the independent MLA. So, uh, there are three to four independent MLA who have supported BJP. When the results were declared, all these independent MLAs met uh, Devendra Fadnus at his residence in Sagar, Bangalore. So, if we see, the total tally comes down to 136, which is just eight seats short of the total 144 Majority. Uh, Eknath Shinde was trying to uh, show his power by uh, meeting the leaders in Delhi and we saw when he met uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah along with these two leaders, Devendra Patnavis and Ajit Pawar. He had a separate meeting with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah where he was been, it is said, that promised to where he'll get some good portfolio. So now it will be important to see what portfolios he was been told he will be getting in this upcoming year government. So, yes, today a meeting will take place with this top three leaders where all the discussions will be taking place and uh, we will, by tomorrow morning, we'll get to know what Eknath Shinde has been promised by Amit Shah. Mega. Okay, all right. Uh, we see out there, there is uh, Praful Patel also who is flanked by Ajit Pawar and then uh, Eknath, uh, Eknath Shinde, of course, and uh, in the middle... Uh, uh, is uh, Devendra Fandavis who is going to be the chief minister of Maharashtra third time around. Uh, 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 Daryl, uh, there are going to be at this point of time, uh, you know, assurances being given to the public that all the promises that had been made by Mahayuti during the campaign period are going to be fulfilled. Any uh, indication of what is going to be the first step or policy change or announcements that could be made by Mahayuti led by now, Chief Minister elect uh, Devendra Fadnavis. Mega, if you see today, uh, Devendra Fadnavis addressed all the group leaders in the Maharashtra Vidhan Bhavan, where he said that uh, we will accept the man we have accepted the mandate of the people and will work for the betterment of the people. And what all promises we had done during our campaign, we will try to fulfill all those campaigns. Basically, uh, tomorrow is the vote taking ceremony, and it is said that in the next upcoming week. There will be a cabinet meeting at, in Mantrale where all the where all the cabinet ministers who will take oath along with CM and DCM will uh, have a meeting and the first policy which will be discussed is the Larki Bahin Yojana which they have promised that if the Mahayuti comes to power they will give 2,100 rupees to the uh, women in the state which now currently they are giving 1,500 rupees per month. So, this will be the first step in, uh, in which the policy will be changed to 1,500 to 2,100. And we see this was the game changing policy because of which we see there was almost around 58 lakh women who voted and which benefited the Mahayuti. And when we spoke to the Mahayuti leaders, other ministers, MLAs, they, even they said that the uh, scheme which was introduced benefited them and also the uh, turnout of the women this time around, which was ex, uh, around 58 lakh extra women voted for the first. Uh, this time around benefited the Mahayuti. So, all these important decisions would be taking place in the first cabinet meeting, which is set to take place in the next upcoming week. But uh, more importantly, the Larki Bahin Yojana will be the uh, first uh, preference where the amount will be increased from 1500 to 2100 rupees in the next cabinet meeting. Mega. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. Tomorrow is going to be the oath taking ceremony. All uh, 